Oh shit, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, hope you're having a wicked day. And yeah, you read the title of the video. That's right, uh, the day has come I think. I'm officially retiring from the National League anyways. Um, I'm just going to explain in this video why I've made this decision. Uh, some people might be wondering why, so I thought... Uh, I'll explain, this is just like a little update video, so if you don't want to watch this then you don't need to, but tomorrow we'll be back to our normal content anyway, so I just thought I'll explain my thoughts man, so yeah, um, I will be retiring from National League, um, still probably play in the regionals, and the South West regionals, that's where my team's based, so I'll probably be moving to Evergreen I think, most possibly, and uh, nothing's been finalised yet, so once I know what I'm going to do, I'll let you guys know. But don't worry. Anyway, the content won't stop. The YouTube's going to keep going. <clears throat> so don't worry about any of that. But yeah, man, just get straight into it. So basically, a point number one I'm going to get into is that uh, really uh, my body is breaking down now. And it's getting tough to play at the levels that I want anyway. Uh, when I first started in my career, I was quite a, a, a top prospect, I would say. As a youngster, I was quite phys physically strong. I was quite good in most aspects of the game. But as I've gotten older, slowly, slowly, things get worse. And obviously, if you're not aware of my condition, it's a Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And so it's a muscle-wasting condition where over time things get progressively worse. So some of the things I could do three, four years ago, I can't do now. So with this type of condition, this often happens where your body just falls off a cliff and that's basically what's happened here. Physically, I'm not strong anymore. Uh, in the, the strike force chair I'm using now, I've got a multi-joystick, which is not the standard joystick that the chair comes with. It's a very sensitive one. And that's what's kept me playing since the last couple of years since I've had it. Now, the thing with that joystick is so sensitive that when people do bump into you, because my hands and arms aren't as strong as they used to be, when people bump into me, my arm starts to shake. And because of how sensitive that joystick is, any little movement like that makes the chair like twitch and stuff like that. So I don't have full control of the chair anymore. And tomorrow when you see my video, there will be a part where I do a couple of spins because I can't stop my chair. I'll explain more in tomorrow's video, but basically the gist of it is I don't have full control of the chair. So because I don't have full control, I can't play to the levels that I want to play and um, just sort of getting frustrated because I know what to do, I know how to do it, but my body's not letting me do it. So what's happening is I'm getting very frustrated about it and I'm starting to fall out of love with the game, playing it anyway. So the main reason is because of that. Body's breaking down, I can't keep up. And nowadays all these youngsters are coming in, they're faster, stronger, more aggressive than I am. And I just can't keep up anymore. So I think that's point one, I'm going to retire. And just point number two is that I'm not really getting the game time anymore either. So before I used to obviously, like I said, quite a strong player. Uh, I used to be, I never really came off the pitch. I was never really played on the bench. I was mainly on the pitch 24-7. Never really came off unless we needed a rotate or I needed a rest. That was the only other time. So now sitting on a bench is very difficult for me because I've never really had to do it. And I'm the type of person that I really want to help. So sitting on the bench is kind of depressing for me. And it's very difficult because I live at home in London and the Nationals is in Nottingham. Now what most players do is they find, during the National weekends, they find a hotel near the venue and they sort of sleep there overnight. Whereas what I'm doing is I'm travelling back home and then come into the venue every day. So on Saturday I'll travel up, Saturday night come back, Sunday morning travel back up, Sunday morning come back down. So it's about two hour drive each way, so it's a lot of time in the car. So I need to think about that as well. You know, like the last national weekend that went by, our first game on Saturday was 9.30, which means I need to get there an hour before as well, the match, so we need to be there at 8.30, which means... I'm leaving my house at 6.30 in the morning and that means I'm getting up at 5, 5.30, which is madness. And then we do all that just to get to nationals, 
get to the first game and my coach doesn't even play me. So I need to think about, is it worth putting all that effort in for me, my mum, my stepdad or my family? You know, they're having to wake up early as well and it's a lot of work for everybody to do. So to do all that work and to sit on the bench for the first game, and it's not the first time that's happened. It's happened many times this season where we make all the effort to go up to nationals and I don't get on the pitch, which you know, for me, I don't think that's right. Uh, so a lot of people think, you know, the game's just about winning. Uh, winning is important, of course it is, but I think the happiness and well-being of players is even more important. You know, back when we started this game, that's what it was all about, really. It's just about fun. And I understand people want it. Of course, I want to win as well. But I think it shouldn't be win at all costs. I think, you know, there's a balance to it. But obviously not everybody agrees with me. So to make all that effort and not play... And obviously, like, there are games where I do get played, but then I just feel like the coach doesn't trust me anymore. So he was, you know, if you're watching, Alan, I'm sorry, but it's how I feel, mate. But it just feels like he would say stuff like, um, you know, this wasn't the right match for you to play. And obviously he's saying we want to win the game. So that tells me he thinks that if I'm in the team, we can't achieve a win, which is what he's saying pretty much, isn't it? That's what it feels like to me anyway. So there's no if there's no trust, then there's no point really being there because if I can't help the team, it's not worth it, you know. And if I'm going up, putting all that effort in to barely play, you know, and then there's other players that are on the team and they're playing better than me, they can't play because I'm there, then I need to leave, innit? That's basically... I don't want to be taking up other people's time. That's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to help a team. If I can't help the team then I shouldn't be there. So that's basically the second reason why I think retirement is the best best decision to make, really. So yeah, man, that's literally my thoughts. That's why I'm retiring. I just want to talk up a little bit about when we started the game because if you don't know, I've been playing for 18 years. I've been in the National League for 15 years. So it's a very long time. I'm very experienced. And back when we started, we used to go to Kettering instead of Nottingham. And back in the day, the National League, we had three divisions, not two. Now we have two. Back in the day, we had three, and it's quite difficult. So when I first started, we started in the bottom division, and it was a great time, really. And then after then, so we used to use storms, storm chairs back in the day. They were basically day chairs that were just tuned up to play party football in. And that's how I started National League in those chairs. And those chairs lasted quite a long time until about, I think it was 2014, 2015 season, the Stripe Force chair came in. And that's the one we use now. And I'll say, when these chairs came in, the game absolutely changed. The speed of the game, the entertainment value, everything, the skill, everything has gone through the roof now. And obviously, these Stripe Force chairs have enabled so much. But let's go way back. When I first started, I don't know if you know how people used to play. We used to use our day chairs, like the one I'm sitting in now. They would get a car tyre, <laughs> they would cut it in half, get a bit of string, and they would tie the tyre to the front of your chair. And that was your front bumper. And then the ball was the size of like a, 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 yoga, um, like a fitness ball, you know, like a gym ball, the massive ball. Our footballs were that size. So that's how we first began the sport. So from going all the way back there to now with the strike force chairs, the sport's changed tremendously and it's changed for the good. So I'm not going to go anywhere anyway. I'm going to stick around. I will keep playing a little bit, regional league, see how it goes. I'll see if we can get into some coaching at some point. Let's see what happens. Like I said, nothing's set in stone yet. So we've still got a couple of months to see what happens, but that's going to be it, man. So, yeah, that's literally it. It's a video of me talking about party football and why I'm retiring. I feel like I'm talking a bit too much now. So, yeah, that's going to be it, man. So, in the comment section below, let me know what you think. Are you happy? Are you sad? Do you care? I don't know. <laughs> so, let me know what you think. But that's going to be it anyway. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in a bit. And peace.